Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we started talking about were rational numbers. And rational numbers, okay, rational numbers. And rational numbers are, numbers are basically numbers that can be represented as a fraction. That can be represented as a fraction. Like three quarters, or three tenths, or five and three fifths. Those are all rational numbers. Now they could also be negative, so negative three tenths, or negative five and three fifths. So those are rational numbers as opposed to integers, which are basically uh, positive or negative numbers, but they're whole numbers. Okay, so rational numbers can be represented as a fraction. Now that does include whole numbers as well because whole numbers can be represented as fractions just like that. Okay, so now that we have that understood, let's move on because that was the focus of today, taking a look at rational numbers. So in the space provided, write the opposite um, of each number. So let's see, so the opposite of each number, if I have 10 over 7, the opposite would then be negative 10 sevenths. Okay, the opposite of uh, negative 3 over 5 would be 5 over 3, and so on. Oh, oh how about this guy over here? This would be negative 3.82, okay? So the opposites are still on just on either side of 0, and that's how it works. Everything to the left of 0 is a negative uh, rational number or a negative integer, and everything to the right of 0 would then be positive. So then we took it a little bit further. Choose a non Choose a non-integer between 0 and 1. In other words, uh, let's take 3 quarters. That's a non-integer, and integers are whole numbers. And here's a rational number. That is a non-integer. Okay. Label it point A and its opposite point B on the number line. Now, if I'm talking fourths, I'd like to split everything into fourths. So if this is 0 and this is 1, and I'm going to put three marks here to split this into four different parts. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the negative side. One, two, three, so that everything is a fourth. Here's a fourth, here's two fourths, this would be three fourths, and there's my one whole, which is also, oopsie, four fourths at the same time. But on the negative side, or the left side of zero, the same thing holds true. So negative one quarter, negative two quarters, negative three quarters, negative four quarters, which is also negative one, okay? So since I chose three quarter as my, as my rational number or my uh, non-integer between zero and one, there it is, and you can see it's between zero and one. I'm going to label that point A, okay? There you go. And I need its opposite on point B. So if this is my distance to the right, I need the opposite and exact distance to my left, I'm going to plot that, label it B, write the values below the points, and looks like I did. So here's my negative three-quarter, and here is my positive three-quarter, negative on the left side of zero, and my positive to the right. Okay, so that's what we did here, and uh, notice that my distance between each marking, or my interval, okay, is one quarter, so that's my spacing. And I knew to choose that, or I know to chose, or to break those into four parts because I'm talking about quarters. Okay? So that's what we did today, folks. All right? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.